I'll start this video with my favorite quote. Life can give everything to all who are willing to find out and good at receiving. These quotes are from the film Bumi Manusia, which was directed by Hanung Bramantyo in 2019. The film, which was an adaptation from a novel with the same title and written by Pramudia Anatatur, won the Award of Excellence from Cinematic Indonesia because it is considered to contain historical, cultural values, local wisdom, and also has amazing cinematography. Actually, what is this film about? The film is set during the colonial period in Dutch East Indies. A son of the region named Inke initially didn't care about acts of discrimination in Dutch East Indies. However, his thought changed when he met Nyai Antosoro, a Nyai who could stand up to the rigors of life in Dutch East Indies. Besides being captivated by the courage of Nyai Antosoro, he also loves the woman's daughter, Annelies. Annelies has an older brother named Robert Melema. They were raised in the same places with the same upbringing. However, over time, the way they perceive their identity is different. Annalise wants to be considered as a pribumi like her mother, while Robert wants to be considered as a full-blooded Dutchman like his father. Born from a marriage between pribumi and Dutchman, making them known as Indo. Indo is a term to classify people who are of Indonesian and Dutch descent. The term Indo has been used since 1898 and refers to an abbreviation of Dutch Indies European or European Indies. The differences between Annalise and Robert as siblings make me come up with one question. How is the representation of the Indo people through the character of Annalise and Robert Mellon? By using Roland Barthes' semiotic theory which examines how humanity interprets the things around it using denotative and connotative analysis, the results are that the Indo people represented by Annalise and Robert are different. Through Robert Malama, Indo people are represented as racist figures like hunting animals, ignoring norms, and sex enthusiasts. This is one of the scenes where Robert is seen as a racist figure. In this scene, Robert equates Ribumi with animals as well as the racist speech from Insignor de Savoge, chairman of Bandung IEV faction in 1935 at the German Third or City Council. He said that Ribumi were equal to 30 million buffalo. Ribumi were are equated with animal, which means that they are not humans who have senses and brain to think. In 1968, stated that the Indos who live in Dutch East Indies had specific hobbies such as hunting or flying kites. Robert Melema in the film The Manusia is shown as a person who likes hunting activities. This can be proven through this scene. This room full of guns means that Robert loves hunting so much that he has various types of rifle and bullets to use. Robert's many guns allowed him to lend his other position to other without having to worry about himself. In addition, this scene all has the meaning that Robert wants to look like a knight and a real man by doing hunting activities. This is one of the scenes that show Robert has a lack of norms. In these scenes, Robert considers himself different from his mother and is in a high social class, so he doesn't want to bother to deal with a pribumi. The change in language used by Nyayonto Soro was intended to have her request granted. However, her request was still ignored with the words, he kept needs met in landers, which means I have no business with the native. Even when reminded that he is to have a pribumi blood, Robert denies the fact and bleeds the mother by spitting in front of her. Nyai Antosoro slaps other words had the meaning of annoyance because of the attitude of her child who keep avoiding reality and have no norms when dealing with parents. The figure of Robert who is addicted to sexual intercourse is supported by this scene. The scene showed Robert's bill that was larger than his father's and a statement by the service provider at a brothel that gave Robert syphilis. The meaning contained in these two scenes is that Robert and his father both like having sex in a brothel. However, Robert more often comes and uses the services of sex worker there so that his monthly bill is larger than his father. As a result of his frequent visit to brothels, his body now suffers from syphilis. Not only looking for prostitution services that can serve him outside home, Robert even raped Annalise, his own sister. Robert's act of raping Annalise can be proven in the scenes above. Robert wants to look like a mighty man by indulging in his sexual appetite. 
he is not indiscriminate by choosing his target. Not only a sex worker, he has also raped his own sister due to his barbaric nature. True Annalise Melema in Do are represented as figures who are not racist, apply local norms in daily life, and are fragile. This is one of the scenes showing Annalise's non-racist attitude. In these scenes, Annalise has made jokes with her and Annalise responds with a shackle. This scene has meaning if Annalise has a friendly attitude, not rigid, not racist, with the problem that makes the people around her comfortable to make jokes. In 1969, first stated that the most of Indos were close to their mother who were Pribumi. This makes Indo children inherit traits from their mother and get used to local norms and culture. In Bumi Manusia, Annalise is seen as Indo person who applied local norms well. This can be proven in the scenes above. This scenes has the meaning that Annalise is obedient to her mother who is only a native. She does not see her mother as representative of a certain ethnicity but instead, she positions herself as a child who has obligation to obey to her parents' orders. This is one of the scenes that shows that Annalise is frail. In these scenes, Annalise who was checking plantation products suddenly fainted and had to be taken to her room. This scenes implies that Annalise's body condition is not too strong, therefore she could suddenly fall or faint. Stuart Hall in 1996 stated that identity is not something that exists and remains, but something that continues to change and form continuously. The evidence of Hall's statement can be seen from the scene from the film of Manusia. Initially, Robert and Annalise accepted that identity as Hindus. However, the arrival of Maurice from the Netherlands changed everything. After seeing their parents who are not harmonious, they expect the environment to perceive them with a different cultural identity. Robert wants to be considered a full-blooded Dutchman by dressing and behaving like his father, while Annalise wants to be considered a native with all good manners she has like her mother. However, the plan doesn't succeed because she had to go to the Netherlands. In conclusion, both characters experience identity development as they grow older. Annalise as a figure who is pro with the Dutch is in this, portrayed in a positive way but fragile. Meanwhile, Robert as a figure who is pro-Dutch is portrayed in a negative way but strong. This research still has limitation by only discussing the representation of the Indo from the Melama sibling in Bumi Manusia. This opens up opportunities for further research that also wants to discuss the representation of the Indo people in films with a wider scope and more in-depth analysis. That's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day.